Hello everyone. I hope you've all had a good week and are keeping safe and well. Today's video is a bow cam view of me ascending Foxton Locks. When I came back last year from Kilby Bridge, I came along the Leicester line heading south and I eventually arrived at the locks where there is a branch off to the Market Harbour arm. I'll see if I can show you on here. <laughs> so I came down from up here and the locks are shown here. And I had to ascend these locks. This branch going off is the Market Harbour arm. Well, there's a boat going out. <laughs> I think I'll just swing you around a minute. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> Hi, and thanks for joining me. So where was I? I was just um, I was just showing you on the, on the map uh, Foxton Locks just here. This bow cam view is going to be slightly different from many of the others I've done. We did have a discussion about that, and I got people's views on what they liked and didn't like. <laughs> Basically, there are ten locks at Foxton. And I will be describing the locks in a little bit more detail. This is pretty much a sort of semi-documentary style. I'm going to talk about the Foxton Inclined Plane, which I have mentioned in the past, but not gone into a lot of detail. The reason for that is that I've often had it in my mind to actually make a separate video about the Inclined Plane but I don't actually think that's going to happen now, partly because they have fenced off the plane. I have got some historic footage that I've taken from years ago, but I think it's best to cover the inclined plane in the video you're about to see, and that's what I've done. So I hope you're going to enjoy watching this. I won't say too much about the locks because I explained some of the detail in the video. I haven't filmed every lock. There are two flights of five and being in one lock is pretty much the same as being in any of them. So I've not shown all the locks, although I filmed all the way through from bottom to top, I have edited the film. Two thirds of the film is me going through the locks with commentary about the locks and also about the inclined plane. And then when I get into the top lock, the last third of the film is me cruising out of the lock down to Bridge 60. There are some beautiful reflections in the water. That section was very quiet on the film. No wonderful natural bird sounds or anything like that. So I have put some gentle music over that and I hope you'll appreciate that because it was pretty dead without it. So I hope you enjoy looking at this view of me rising up through Foxton Locks. The other thing I should say about it is that going through locks is a slow process. So some of the footage is speeded up, but the cruising is all normal, normal speed, no speeding up. <laughs> I just hope you enjoy what you're about to see. Once this boat is out of the way, I can enter the bottom lock of the flight. Foxton locks date from 1810 and comprise two separate staircase flights of five interconnecting locks, ten in all, with a passing pound between to allow boats to cross in opposite directions. They are the longest and steepest staircase flight in the UK and are located at the northern end 
of the 20 mile Leicester Line summit section of the Grand Union Canal. The bottom gates of one lock form the top gates of the next, which is how they interconnect. The flight is Grade 2 star listed and the former lock keepers cottages are Grade 2 listed. The star attaches greater importance to the listing. It presently takes about 45 minutes for a boat to pass through once it has entered the locks in either an up or down direction. But the wait to enter, particularly in peak periods, could be several hours. There is a small cafe at the top in a former lock keeper's cottage and at the bottom a traditional canal side pub and the Foxton Locks Inn. To my left is the Foxton Canal Museum, housed in the recreated boiler house of a short-lived inclined plane, engineered by Gordon Cale Thomas, which opened on 10th July 1900 and closed in 1911. The inclined plane is a scheduled monument. The incline worked on the counterbalance principle, as often used with funicular railways, which have two carriages attached to a haulage cable looped over a pulley at the top. As one ascends, the other descends. The incline had two tanks, or caissons as they are known, each capable of holding two narrowboats or single wide beam barge. The caissons were full of water and so balanced each other. The caissons vertical guillotine gates created a watertight seal. The lift was powered by a 25 horsepower stationary steam engine. The incline was built to overcome difficulties with the locks and to encourage freight carriers to use wider beam boats, but it was not a commercial success, even though journey time was only 12 minutes for two boats up and two down, compared with one and a quarter hours through the lock system. The cost of running the incline was prohibitive and a plan to build an incline plane at the southern end of the summit section at Watford Locks never materialised. The Foxton Inclined Plain Trust, established in 1980, had hoped to recreate the plane, as even today the single width locks remain a bottleneck for leisure boat traffic. The first part of their project was completed in 2008 at a cost of £2.8 million, including grant assistance of £1.7 million from the Heritage Lottery Fund.
This involved clearing the site and restoration of the canal arms above and below the incline. But the overall project stalled because of the enormous costs involved, estimated at £9 million in 2006. This was a wonderful feat of engineering and it would be marvellous to see it recreated. But will it ever happen? Coming up on the right, you can see where they were previously working on the towpath edge.
The bronze horse is a reminder of the old days when boats weren't motorised and were pulled along by horses on the towpath. Many thanks for watching, if you haven't yet done so please do think about subscribing and clicking the little bell to receive notifications of future videos. Meanwhile I hope you're all keeping safe and well, take the utmost care, bye for now.